Hey tennis fans, remember this match? Here is a video clip of the famous Wimbledon finals between Roger Federer and Serena Williams from 2018. Um, wait a minute, something doesn't add up, right? This match never happened. What is this video clip that we are seeing then? This is an AI synthesized fake video from the paper Wit to Player Controllable Video Sprites that behave and appear like professional tennis players. This paper, published by the researchers at Stanford University, tackles a very specific problem of editing the match footage video of real life tennis matches using AI and other computer graphics techniques. This method allows us to take control over an ongoing match and play it out differently. For example, the authors show how we can change the ending of the Wimbledon 2019 final by making Federer not lose a point that cost him the actual game. The edited version of this play shows what it would have looked like had Federer landed his return shot inside the line. Truly incredible, right? This is possible by controlling the position of the return shot, essentially converting a real-life match into an interactive video game. The synthesized player behavior and movements are learned using a short cycle state machine which uses domain knowledge about how the game of tennis works. It learns to predict the shot placement and the respective recovery positions so that the synthesized players move correctly in anticipation of the next phase of this short cycle. Once the position of the player is determined, the next synthesis task it needs to handle is that of moving the player to that particular position with realistic motion. This is done by looking up a database of the player's appearance in the training data and using that as a synthesis baseline. To improve these results, they also use pose estimation and unpaired image-to-image -image translation to achieve pose consistency and for ensuring that there are no missing body parts like legs getting cut out of the frame. Overall, the results look almost photorealistic and pose an interesting solution to a problem not many would have even thought of. This work opens up possibility of using real-world sports data for the purpose of generative modeling and it has a very clear application to the development of esports video games of the future.